the words of God I say supersede all known natural powers and supernatural powers and through this I have changed my zeitgeist the Holy Ghost he is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraut thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us first Timothy chapter 4 verse 8 for bodily exercise profits say bodily exercise profits what does that mean uh, that means it will benefit you if you do it if you don't do the bodily exercise then you don't profit by it for bodily exercise profits a little but godliness is also profitable he's comparing the two you got you got uh, physical exercise and then you've got spiritual exercise which he calls godliness godliness is profitable unto all things say all things having promise of the life that now is the life that now is and in that which is to come well the life that now is is the life span and the time that you're living in now and the light the world that is to come is the world that you are to go into and we call that the future he didn't necessarily say that that just means heaven your future will be profitable say my future will be profitable if you do the godly exercise say if i do the godly exercise then you will profit now and in the future which of course would include heaven this profits you now in this life and i know a lot of christians kind of poo poo that because we're not supposed to have anything in this life well they're wrong according to this verse of scripture so bodily exercise profits and godly exercise profits so what are you going to do about it are you not going to exercise and expect to profit by it physically are you not going to spiritually exercise and expect to profit by it doesn't work that way what are you going to do about it say do about it see the word says that i show you my faith or my religion by my works that's what james 2 18 says you show it by what you do your religion listen your religion is what you do your exercise is what you do your godliness is what you do well I do worship the Holy Ghost I worship the Holy Ghost as God I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost as God I do that say I do that and then I walk with him in the earth by speaking in agreement with his word that's what I do that has become because I do it that's godliness and I do it it has become my religion godly exercise thereof worshiping the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his word has become my religion and I profit by it now in this life are you here and my future is looking pretty good too but as you know most of the church puts everything off 
until they get to heaven when it comes to you going to heaven that means you're dead as far as this life on earth goes and when you do that put everything off till heaven you're putting everything off till heaven you are embracing a persecution and defeatist and oppressed mentality now in this life thinking that that is what godliness means obviously not godliness is what you do worshiping the holy ghost and speaking in agreement with his words that profits you now in this life persecution mentality oppressed mentality being under mindset plays right into the hand of the current zeitgeist zeitgeist is a german word zeit from the word time and geist from the word spirit literally meaning the spirit of our time the time you're living in and there's a spirit of that time you understand and it's different somewhat today than it was 20 years ago or 40 years ago well the spirit of our times or the spirit of the age you might say in the spirit of this age Christianity has ensconced itself as victims but we're not called to be victims we're called to be victorious the life that now is the life that now is the zeitgeist victorious not victims second corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 in whom the god of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not the god of this world a lot of other translations say age we get it from the greek word eon he's not the god of this world not even close he's not the actual god of heaven and earth first chronicles 29 11 says thine o lord is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in heaven and in the earth is thine how much all that's in the heaven and the earth is thine so that means he is god which means that the devil is not the devil is trying to lord over the age the eon but he's never god he can't turn into god there's only one true and living god and his name is the holy ghost and he's the one that's in the earth today and you should worship him but here we see that by deception in the spirit of these times people have yielded themselves to the devil and given him authority over their life his power comes from manipulation blind manipulation of you and your words but when people stop yielding to him with their words he becomes powerless he has no actual power here's jesus saying john 14 30 hereafter i will not talk with you for the prince of this world cometh and has nothing in me he's gonna not talk and the devil has nothing in him say not talk nothing in you talking too much or talking the things that the devil has wants you to talk about then he's got something on you and when you stop yielding to him he has no power over you which means he has no real power who has the power you have the power so in order to gain power over you or to stay in power over you 
he must capture the language in fact capture of the language is a straight-up communist strategy capturing the meaning of words in order to make them say something different than what they originally meant and then using them those words to control you Marxism is a religion and what we see here in the spirit of our times the zeitgeist is the end game of Marxists from the late 60s and 70s having made their long march through the institutions just like they said they would and have already captured much of the language we use today using it to control and oppress you a few examples here CRT critical race theory you've probably heard of this they say it's anti-racist but in fact it's pure racism capturing the language twisting it to mean something completely different that they may oppress and control you DEI diversity equity and inclusion diversity does not mean what you think it means and equity doesn't mean equality of opportunity and inclusion is anything but inclusive literally exclusion of anyone who doesn't agree or go along with the things they say language capture at its finest woke totalitarianism is evil to the core it's left people especially the young thinking that they have no other options carbon neutral your carbon the neutralize you well unfortunately Christianity has failed to provide the right option most of them have submitted to the spirit of our times besides they're just waiting to die anyway to go to heaven what's the big deal they think it's godly to be persecuted and oppressed and a victim anyway but that's not what we read here we have promise of the life that now is the Holy Ghost is called the promise you worship him and walk with him by saying words this is different worshiping the Holy Ghost walking with him on the earth by saying words I'm providing that option Proverbs 420 says my son attend to my words incline thine ear to my sayings how do you incline your ear to a saying the saying must have been said that's why I said incline your ear to his sayings verse 22 says for they are life unto those that find them what are life the said word of God the said word of God is life to me for I have found it I have found it when did I find it now in this time it's life to me now in this time the words of God I say supersede all known natural powers and supernatural powers and through this I have changed my zeitgeist question living God gives me richly all things to enjoy true or false the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it true or false he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions true or false you can't go about the rest of your day speaking in contradiction to that and expect those things to come to pass in your life exercise your godliness you are either affecting change 
in yourself and in those around you or you are submitting to the spirit of the times you are a protagonist in your own story the time that you are alive you're the protagonist you are at the same time the time that you're alive a side character in the story of everyone else that you come into contact with how powerful of a side character do you want to be are you strong enough to change the storyline in the lives of others flip the reality it's to this end I speak with maximum impact living God gives me richly all things to enjoy this spirit of life supersedes all oppression and death that exists in this age I fully worship the Lord my God and him only serve by speaking words by exercising godliness in speaking he is the spirit of this age the age of the Holy Ghost and we are Holy Ghost worshipers we flip the zeitgeist he is the new zeitgeist Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people and delivering them from the spirit of this age and causing them to walk freely we shall be established says the Spirit Lord in all the things that we are required to do and fulfill in this time and in this life and in the world which is to come I thank you for it Holy Ghost in Jesus name if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are God in the earth today I thank you that I am blessed and I am made rich with no sorrow added and by me speaking those words I enter into a new age where I am only blessed only all the time in every way in Jesus name Amen in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today Holy Ghost your God